one of the new pieces of functionality in Mark Edit is um, related to the work being done around the ILS integration. Um, one of the things a lot of people don't realize is Mark Edit has a database tool built into it. Um, it's called the uh, Mark SQL Explorer. This has been around for about a year and a half. Um, it was really kind of designed specifically for helping people to do um, deep analysis of MARC records, though you can use it to um, do uh, some fairly granular changes. Uh, it works with MySQL and SQLite, so this is a, a brief SQLite table. Um, there's an extended table schema, which is what I actually recommend using. It's the kind of the second version of the table schema, so I've kept both. Um, load this up. You can see the database structure that's been used. There's a control table plus tables for all the fields. It includes a identifier to the control table plus a field ID so you can check and make sure that your fields are part of a single record. Um, and you can execute queries across uh, multiple tables or across the uh, particular control table. So star from mark db. So this is a tool that gets used a lot uh, for uh, libraries that are doing sometimes um, ILS migrations, uh, specifically since you can access uh, parts of the MARC data through um, SQL queries. Um, however, during the process of working on doing ILS integration, uh, specifically as I was thinking about and talking with folks about what ILS systems work on next, uh, there was a request um, from uh, small uh, publishers who have static sets of records um, who use this particular tool for um, a variety of things, wondering if there was any way that they could use the Mark Editor and treat the SQLite database as a um, almost like a, an ILS. Uh, theoretically, there wasn't any reason why it couldn't be done, and so I went ahead and looked to see if it could be integrated into the um, ILS integration, and, and you can. If you go to ILS integration, you'll now find uh, for select systems, um, there's uh, Koha, which is the original system that MarkEdit uh, integration worked with, and then there's um, Local. And the Local is uh, tied to the uh, SQLite engine, though um, I'll probably support uh, MySQL as well, as well at some point. Um, you basically uh, enable the ILS option, select local, and then point to the database that your uh, records exist in. Uh, the assumption is you have created a database, uh, so using the Mark SQL um, Explorer tool, using the extended database properties, um, you've created a, 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 data, a, a database and have um, loaded some records into it. Uh, so I go ahead and I select those. Um, I can either keep it in the default profile or create a new one. And that's it. So I tell it OK. And once I've set that up, you'll see a new item show up in the Mark Editor called Local. Uh, from here, I can search inside the database. The database searches are all by default wildcard searches. Uh, so that means they can stem and they search um, uh, uh, for parts of records. Um, so I can go ahead and do that search. I can select um, a couple records. We'll take 1644 and download them. I can now edit these records using any of the tools in Mark Edit. Uh, so that includes things like uh, uh, running the um, running the RDA helper across these rule sets. Um, I can go ahead and, and add fields. Um, I can do replacements, edits. I can run task lists. And then when I'm finished, I can go to local and update and create. And those records will be prepped and pushed back into the database. And so now if I go back and look at those records again, and look at 1644, uh, we'll see that the RDA data has continued to remain. Uh, the field that I added um, is here. Uh, and so we've got um, a way to interact directly with that local database schema. Um, and again, the local database schema is tied to uh, the extended database properties. Uh, this is, allows users um, who have static sets of records. Um, I still think uh, for most users, um, this probably, uh, the, the, who have file sets um, that are constantly changing, uh, this most likely probably isn't the best option for them, but for publishers, uh, small small book vendors um, that maintain their own database sets, 
uh, this may provide an option for being able to uh, manage your records um, in a local database. Uh, once you have things in a local database, um, you can actually load new records into it through MarkEdit um, just by opening a new file. And once that file is open, um, you can go to uh, local and select um, update and create. And those records will automatically be loaded um, into the tool. And then I can go back and I can search for those. and find them in the in the data set. So I don't have to, once I've created the database using the Mark SQL Explorer, I can actually manage it um, in terms of adding uh, records and editing records through the Mark Editor. Uh, if I need to delete records, I can just go to the SQL Explorer and delete those records. Um, at this point, I haven't added that functionality to uh, the Mark Editor, um, partly because uh, the tool is real, the editor has always been uh, more created for editing records, whereas if you were interested in, in deleting records, it probably makes most sense to, to use the SQL um, tool and run a, just a delete query across the tables. Um, since then, you could uh, optimize the table afterwards. So anyways, that's how that works. Um, I will be working this coming week uh, to bring this functionality into the Mac system. It works now on uh, the Linux and the Windows-based systems. Um, and we'll um, continue to be working on more ILS option, uh, integration options. Uh, the next one that'll be finished um, here in the coming week or so will end up being the, uh, the Alma integration, and then we will um, look at the current ILS landscape and see which one will be next. If you have questions, feel free to contact me. Thank you.